All right, guys, now let's see how to work with uh, y is equal to a power x using first principles and find the derivative of this. Now, I told uh, you guys to try this looking at the previous problem. All right, otherwise, let's see how it work. I have to increase x with what x plus delta x and y to be y plus delta y and see what happens here. I can write this as y plus delta y as equal to a to the power x plus delta x what we have. Then the first stage says keep delta y on one side so I'm just putting y on the other side a plus delta x minus y and I know that y is nothing but a power x. Now what happens here? Delta y is so much. Right. Here again I'll use this law that a power m plus n can be written as a power m into a power n. Okay, I use this guy on this fellow and see what I get. I get delta y is equal to a to the power x plus delta x minus a power x. So here I can use the same law. It goes like delta y is a power x into a power delta x minus a power x. So what do you have? a power x common. I'll give it a power delta x minus 1. Okay, that's what I have. All right. Now, what is the next stage? Second stage is divide both sides by okay, this guy is delta y by delta x. All right. So divide this by delta x. Let me do the next step. Delta y by delta x goes like a power x and a power delta x minus 1 by delta x. I'm dividing both the sides by delta x. Not an issue. All right. Now, the third stage is all about applying limits. Since I cannot cancel delta x directly, I can use a formula to remove it off. All right. So what happens here? Limit of uh, delta x tends to zero. I have delta y by delta x is given as a power x into limit of delta x tends to zero. I have a power delta x minus one by delta x. See, this guy doesn't have any delta x, so I would keep it outside the limit thing. All right. Simple. Now you should know one thing. If I differentiate y is equal to a power x, the answer is dy by dx is equal to a power x into log a. Okay, that's my answer. If you know the answer, all right, if you know the answer, now we can do a small manipulation. Look at this. Now, according to this, this whole thing is dy by dx. I know this, right? And this is a power x. Now, between my answer and this step, what is missing? dy by dx is there a power x is there. The only thing missing is log a. But I have this whole thing. So it means this whole thing has to become log a. That's it. So I'll write this much and I'll write since. Right? Since. We don't know the formula. We never knew the formula. But still, if you know the answer, I can since from the formula, which is one, limit of delta x tends to zero, a power delta x minus one by delta x e is equal to log of a. Okay, this is what we didn't know. But still, we can just write like that, right? Because this has to become log a. You got the answer. So dy by dx is what? a power x into log a. That's all about it. Very simple, right?